Hi. Okay, I have made some serious progress in my yard, and I'm going to do an update so you guys can see. I've got my patio. So here is a um, begonia in a hanging basket. I'm going to back over in the corner so you can see the patio. And there's my fairy, and there's some little ivy growing around her. And there's a little um, little patio table. And then I've got all my chimes and crystals. And then in this corner, I've got a little gnome and a fuchsia plant that makes purple and fuchsia flowers. And I'm going to go and walk out the door. I've got some extra old rusty folding chairs that may get I don't know, may get thrown away. Um, I've got another fuchsia that I got for Easter for a present and this one is going to make pink. Bright pink um, like Barbie pink and white I think or maybe red and white. I just saw a picture on the tag. I think it's going to be red and white flowers. They're going to be it is covered in blooms as you can tell that thing is going to be spectacular when it bursts into bloom. And then I got my bird bath is clean. I need to fill it. I have a dill, a pot of dill that's doing pretty good. I have some pots of Italian parsley and thyme. The thyme is doing pretty good. This parsley's doing okay. That parsley's kind of craptacular. And some little gnomes. And then there's no gnome home. Um, okay. I got a leaf pile. I got to step around. Okay, these are going to be where I'm going to plant some melons. It's just not quite time. I guess I can plant them. The thing in the middle that's kind of green, that was an onion that sprouted in my pantry, so I just planted it to see what happens. And then over here is a pot with some phlox, which I'm hoping is going to make a nice, big, pretty presentation of flowers. And then one of my little benches. I think those are purple chrysanthemums in that teapot pot. And then I know these aren't called carnations, they're called something else, but they come back year after year. And then a little bird feeder behind it, and up against the wall is some impatience. And then over on this wall, or this wall of the patio, I've got rosemary and basil. And let's see, here's tomatoes. There are the black cherry, the patio, and there's a baby tomato on one. The little orange pots are chives. Some marigolds and a big old rosemary. My little kitty statue, I planted some pretty impatience around it. And then this little pot here is a chocolate mint. My lemon tree has dropped almost all its flowers, so it's getting ready to put out baby lemons. Some more marigolds and my old German heirloom tomato plants. And I'm going to walk you around over here in the shade. You can see my tree. Got a little bell hanging off of it and a bird feeder. Around over here, my mint plants. Need to pick up those branches. I got my swing moved. Um, the begonias, the pink begonias, some more impatience because they're going to be mostly in the shade. On my tree I've got a little bird feeder that I put my yarn scraps from crocheting in because the birds like to use them when they build the nests. And around we go to part of the yard you guys haven't seen before. And pardon the noise from the air conditioner, it's another hot day. Um, we got the bay leaf tree containers I'm going to be planting cucumbers in probably this afternoon. Buckets to give to my mother-in-law. Other lemon tree that needs to be clipped. And then this little trellis over here. I think I'm going to plant some cucumbers. This little herb station. Hmm. It's um, oregano. The left in the green pot is Thai basil. The right in the green pot is sage. And the three oval pots are all oregano. This one on the left looks like it's dying. I may have to replace it. 
and then a little impatient. And now I have a whole new garden section you guys have never seen. And it's kind of like my little patio chill out area. Got my husband's barbecue pits, the smoker and his griller, and a little table that needs to be scrubbed. Got my little ice chest out. And this blue thing is my compost bin. Let's see, this pot is peppermint, this kind of big round pot. These little gray pots are all thyme and they're getting ready to get placed. The thing that looks like grass above it is chives. These kind of rectangular pots with these weird looking things in them are overgrown kohlrabi that are going to get pulled up. I'm going to turn you around. This is my planting and potting area. I got my garden cart, my plants left to be planted, extra pots, tools, things like that. Our picnic table for when we have company. And it needs to be, it needs to be, um, it needs to be scrubbed really well. And then <laughs> this big pot here, this orange pot, is cilantro or coriander. And here is our comfy chairs that have footrests our fire pit, my glider swing, with a little bench for, um, or a little stool for a table. I have another little planting area here, and these are impatiens with a little wind chime, and my bedroom is the window right there, so I like hearing the, hearing the chimes at night. A more garden organized area, the cabinet has the shovel and the rake and that kind of stuff. The boxes have barbecue supplies and garden supplies. And I'm going to spin you around over here. There's going to be a post. Okay, I'm going to walk past these pots. This out here outside the gate. I'll get over there in a second. That's actually some green onions I planted. That thing in the corner is going to be, I think it's going to be cucumbers. I've got a little flower, an extra bucket of dirt. And these green buckets and pots are going to be green beans. I have to plant them today, I think. We're going to come out the back gate. And, ooh, there's a carpenter bee. And this pot's going to have peppers. That's a blueberry bush. These are some fairy tale eggplant that desperately need weeding. My friend's going to come help me weed today. And here are little miniature tomato plants that are just covered in baby tomatoes. I'm really happy with how they're turning out. I can't, they're called sweet and neat. And then here's a neighbor's dog coming over that 